Today, Governor Pritzker traveled to Southern Illinois to discuss various grants available to people experiencing financial hardship due to COVID-19. Uh, while we continue to fight to keep Illinois' uh, people healthy and safe from the virus, we must battle the economic pain that it has wreaked upon our community. The Illinois budget adds $90 million in federal CARES Act funding that will go towards community assistance programming. That $90 million is in addition to what we are already allocated from the federal government for these programs for a total investment of $275 million in funding to provide things like rent and food and temporary shelter. This new funding means approximately 1 million more residents are now eligible for community assistance. The administration has increased the eligibility income threshold up to 200 percent the federal poverty level. For a family of four, that increase will support a monthly income of up to $4,300. Using HelpIllinoisFamilies.com, eligible residents can find assistance with utility bills, water bills, food and medicine. Critics of the governor's handling of the COVID crisis have urged him to loosen more restrictions. They argue that's the fastest way towards economic recovery. But the governor says the phased reopening is working. I think we've done this uh, well, and you see it in the numbers. You know, there was just an announcement over the last couple of days that Illinois had the largest decrease in COVID-19 cases. Uh, while other states are spiking and actually having their most, the greatest number of cases reported. The hotel industry wants the governor to allow meeting rooms and ballrooms to reopen at half capacity when the state enters phase four. But the governor says he'll make a decision about that based on what the scientists tell him.